Welcome back. One thing no one ever talks about in weight loss goals or getting in shape or anything like that, and I'm not saying no one, but typically we have the beginning of the year, all these people giving all their different workouts and all the different diets. But one thing is missing. One thing is never talked about, and that is accountability. And I believe that that in and of itself is the key to almost any success in life. Whether that is saving money, whether that is losing weight, whether that is stopping doing drugs or being not becoming an alcoholic or continuing alcoholism or any other habit that might be bad for us. I mean, if you think about it, Alcoholics Anonymous, their whole principle and the whole idea and other programs like it is to have, a, when you're struggling, when you're going through something, you go to a meeting. Now, the only place I know that has meetings like this is Weight Watchers, and I know several people who have had a lot of success with Weight Watchers. But And part of it is just that meeting every week of just weighing yourself and being there with other people who are on the same goal. Now, you really don't get that in gyms. Now, I'm not saying that there's not gyms like that, but unless you spend hundreds of dollars for a personal trainer, which a lot of people don't have, and you really got to find the right one for you. But what we often lack and what we really need is accountability. And so when you, the best thing I would say and what has helped me in so many different things, and I have accountability partners for different areas of my life. I have accountability. I have mentors that I have that are older than me, that are wiser than me, that advise me on spiritual things. I have mentors that are older and wiser than me that advise me on work-related things like how to run my company, who are businessmen, who have been there for decades beyond me. And so why don't we have the same thing for weight loss or for getting in shape? I think a lot of it is because it's so near and dear to us. It's so hard to be vulnerable like that. Like we don't, one, we don't want to share our weight. Two, we don't want to share, you know, there's a lot of, you see Instagram pics of people in, you know, their underwear befores and afters, but how many people are going to show their uh, befores and then they don't have afters, right? I mean, how many stories are there of those? I believe by what, February 1st, March 1st, like 80% of people who signed up for new memberships or who started this trend just bow out and are, are done, right? And you you might be there now. But I bet you, I had put money on it that you didn't have any accountability in your life in regards to this. And I think that's really, really important. So how do you go about finding accountability? One, I think there's two things, two major things you need in a person. One, I think you need somebody who's firm, but two, somebody who's kind. You don't want somebody who's going to put you down like you're a loser, right? But you also don't want somebody to be like, oh, don't worry about it. I get it, right? You want somebody to push you like you can do this. Don't let go of your goals. You got to do this. You don't want to be the same way you are forever. Can you imagine five years down the road, you're at the same weight, you're at the same strength level, right? You want that balance in life right? Another thing I'm just going to suggest, be very hesitant, especially if you're married, to use your spouse as the person that holds you accountable. That puts your spouse in a very awkward position, right? Because in one hand, they're supposed to give you unconditional love. And in the other hand, they're, they're put in this predicament of hold, trying to hold you accountable to something that you're weak at, right? And they themselves might be weak at. So I would find somebody, and if you are a churchgoer, maybe find, if you're a woman, find a woman that can help you uh, who's also going through this, that you have two people who are on the same journey, uh, same with guys, uh, find a guy, a workout partner, which I really suggest, and just say, look, no matter what, and let's not be, let's be more realistic. Let's not say, hey, we're going to meet every single day. Let's just start off with three days a week. Let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or whatever schedule works for you. I think you need accountability, and I don't know why that that is not talked about more often, but 
I would find somebody within your church, within your sphere of influence, within your work, somebody that's going to help hold you accountable, right? Also, try to find somebody who is, and make yourself vulnerable. That's one thing we hate to do. We hate to make ourselves vulnerable. Why? Because we often get hurt when we make ourselves vulnerable. And we're going to have to learn to deal with hurt. Hurt's going to come. And you might have had a lot of hurt in your life. Well, you're probably going to get some more. And that's just, that's life. And so you might need to make yourself vulnerable. Those That person that does work out a lot, uh, who is in good shape that you work with or that you go to church with, maybe go to them and say, look, this is hard for me to ask, um, but I need help. And I need, I don't just need a plan. I need an accountability partner. I need somebody to call me every day or every other day or text me and ask me if I worked out, if I ate right, things like that. Now, there's a huge thing. Now, that's one of the reasons why it's so hard for men to quit porn because they have no accountability. They don't have nobody saying, hey, are you staying away from things you shouldn't watch? Are you staying away from things you shouldn't look at? Right? Because that's another vulnerable position you have to put yourself into. You have to let somebody know, hey, I failed or I succeeded. And that's really hard to do because we never want to present ourselves as failures. So I would just suggest, one, if you really want to lose weight, if you really want to get in shape, find yourself an accountability partner. And this is so important across the whole spectrum. Losing weight and getting in shape, saving money, dealing with your finances and budget, um, pornography addiction, drug and alcohol addiction. We need accountability in our lives. We can't do it ourselves. And if you think you can, you can't. It just, it's not going to happen. So find yourself an accountability partner and humble yourself. It's a hard thing to do, but who knows? You might establish a great friendship and a great relationship out of it. So I'll see you next time for my thoughts on have a great day.